Melbourne was an opportunity that was provided to us by uh, the hosting of the conference in Africa and South Africa for the very first time. Um, ultimately, you know, up until uh, last year, we hadn't had the capacity to do human whole genome sequencing in South Africa. And so we wanted to uh, showcase that not only are we able to do it, but actually we're able to do this with an optimized workflow that is cost effective and really driving adoption as much as possible. Um, so with a worldwide audience and a strong partnership with the CPGR, we embarked on bringing this workflow to life uh, in the form of a competition to create some excitement, but more importantly also just to showcase the capabilities and the proficiency that we have in running this workflow and doing an excellent job at it. Since we started our partnership with Illumina in 2020, it has been our ambition to get into whole human genome sequencing because it unlocks the potential of the human genome in terms of preventative medicine, personalized medicine, and ultimately reducing the cost of uh, the burden of disease. So for us, it's a really important aspect to work on, not only to achieve this in our own lives, but actually to forge a path that is important for our kids to benefit from in the future. Okay, well, you know, um, this goes back uh, about two years to the general sales meeting from Illumina and I was inspired by Francis de Souza speaking about us bringing and enabling uh, genomics uh, from a single drop of blood. So we were determined to actually bring that vision to life. Uh, ultimately, human whole genome sequencing normally relies on uh, blood sampling of five mils of blood with the help of nurses. And what we feel is like, we want to bring an added value into this workflow. We want to really literally sample a drop of blood and sequence from that. So what we did is, uh, with the help of our suppliers, um, we, we brought this workflow into one coherent, um, from beginning end to end solution. So ultimately what we did is, we're sampling off a Neoterex uh, sampling device, which is basically a finger prick. This starts to enable at-home sampling uh, in a geography like Africa where you've got um, huge distances to cap cover. Um, the challenge with cold chain storage and all of these other aspects. We felt that you know, finger prick, room temperature uh, sampling and shipment is the way to go. So that's what we did. We did a finger prick. We sampled with the Mitra devices, 30 microliters, two samples per patient, um, done in a matter of seconds and then basically sealed into an envelope and ready to ship to the lab. Uh, that's the beginning of the workflow. Then once we get into the lab and we receive those samples, they're barcoded, um, so they get scanned in um, and immediately form part of a work list. Uh, from there, we're doing an extraction on the MN extraction kits, um, which has been optimized in our collaboration with CPGR, um, followed then by the library preparation on an Illumina platform, um, not the small entry level system, but you know, the NovaSeq uh, 6000 that is at uh, the CPGR. And then we sequence the genome. Um, then ultimately, what is a data file without interpretation? So with our partnership with the guys at Veritas, uh, we have exported the fast few files and they do the data interpretation, which is giving us a lot of information on the patient. Um, in the, the form of um, disease states that are present or even future predicted, uh, phenotypic traits, um, pharmacogenomic data, um, so which medicines do you respond to, which medicines don't you respond to, and the understanding as to why. And so, yeah, this whole end-to-end -end solution that can also be automated in Hamilton Robotics is ultimately a game changer for us. This will allow us to put in a population genomics program that is streamlined, cost effective, and ultimately driving uh, innovation forward in uh, our country.